Good morning, Central High School. I have a couple of announcements for you this morning. AP exams have started and continue through the end of next week, so please be mindful in the hallway as your peers are completing those exams. We'll also have the bells off, which means you'll be transitioning when your teacher's computer says that it's time to transition, so please be patient and wait for that announcement from your teacher. Just as a reminder, they'll be in the gymnasium and in the band room and, so, uh, and in the office. So if you need to stop in any of those places, make sure that you're reading signs and being quiet not, so as not to interrupt those exams. Also, a reminder went out to you and to families yesterday about after school expectations. Remember that if you're staying after school, you should be with a teacher by 325. At that time, we make an announcement to remind you should be in a space. We also have a sports study hall in the small cafeteria, which you're allowed to attend if you don't have plans to be with a teacher and need to be after for a sport. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask any one of the administrators and have a wonderful Tuesday. Good morning again, ESM. Yesterday evening was the end of the Muslim holiday Eid al-Fitr, which marks the end of the month-long fasting of Ramadan. But before we get into that, let's check in with Elena at news. According to an initial majority opinion draft written by Justice Samuel Alito, it appears the Supreme Court is set to strike down the landmark Roe v. Wade decision. The draft opinion is in response to a decision made in 1973, which guaranteed federal constitutional protections of abortion rights and subsequent 1992 decision Planned Parenthood Verse Casey that largely maintained the right. Alito wrote, Roe was egregiously wrong from the start. We hold that Roe and Casey must be overruled. He wrote in the document labeled as the opinion of the court. Deliberations on controversial cases have in the past been fluid. On the other hand, Congress can decide whether to pass a protection bill allowing abortion rights to remain on a state level. In other news, Robert Newlander was sentenced to 20 years to life yesterday. The former Dr. Newlander was found guilty of second-degree murder of his wife, Leslie Newlander, after a second trial concluded in March. Onondaga County Judge Thomas M. Miller announced the sentencing around 1.30 p.m. Leslie Newlander was found dead in 2012, and Robert Newlander was initially found guilty in 2015. However, Robert Newlander was given a second trial after the first verdict was thrown out, after he served three years of his sentence due to juror misconduct. A man from central New York was found with a gun in his carry-on bag at the Syracuse airport. It was a 9mm semi-automatic 45 handgun loaded with six bullets. He claimed that when packing his luggage, he did not first empty the bag before packing his travel items. Because of the claim that he forgot it was in there, he was not arrested. The man's statement to the police was that he put the gun in his bag when he went hiking and forgot that he had the gun with him. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ellen Rosamilia and Chris Michael won third place at the Skills USA States competition for movie production. Todd Durantini and Emily Andrews won first place in TV production for as well. They now have the opportunity to go to nationals in Atlanta, Georgia in late June. In 2022, people are living in a world that's recovering from a pandemic, which forces them to watch and learn more about the latest news. With that, they have discovered other ways to get their news as opposed to watching their local broadcast. I usually see relevant topics of today. I usually don't see any past topics that come around often. Um, present topics like presidential elections or elections or senator elections. Social media has made access to news easier in all age groups. Since it is easier, people want to use social media over other forms of television news. This can be good and bad with it being so simple to post real or fake information. I think it draws people into wanting to learn more about the news. There are some bad things like um, the spread of false news and stuff like that. It can be much easier to come across. but. Overall, I think it's positive and it gets people informed. Social media is just one more of hundreds of options to connect with the world in the 21st century. Al Feeder, which translates to the celebration of breaking the fast, lasts around three days and begins at the first sighting of the crescent moon, which marks the beginning of the 10th Islamic month. It is the first of two Muslim festivals, the other being Eid al-Adha. With millions of Muslims across the world celebrating and accomplishing an important religious duty, there's many different ways it's celebrated. 
On Eid, Muslims traditionally head to the mosque in the morning for a special prayer and sermon. Afterwards, families and friends exchange gifts, share feelings of goodwill, and exchange different foods and desserts. And I'll be back with more specific traditions after weather. Today is going to be cloudy with a slight chance of rain and tomorrow is going to be cloudy with a lot of rain. Today we will have a high of 69 degrees and a low of 50 degrees. Tomorrow we'll have a high of 60 degrees and a low of 43 degrees and I'm Paige with your weather. Eid al Fitr is also referred to as the Sugar Fest. In Turkey, sweets like baklava and Turkish delight are shared amongst family and friends. In Iraq and Saudi Arabia, dates are a significant part of Ramadan and Eid as they're eaten at the pre-dawn meal before Ramadan and made into cookies. And there's different foods from a bunch of different countries like Russia, China, and Bangladesh. Those are the Turkish delights in baklava, dates in the cookies, dumplings. The patties made in China, and korma from Bangladesh. Around the world, some celebrate by doing a specific type of charitable giving called Zakat, zakat al fitr which follows one of the five pillars of Islam. There are some more unique ways Eid is celebrated, like the painted hard-boiled egg fight in Afghanistan. And now on to our very long list of sports. <laughs> On Friday, some members of the boys track team attended the OCS Invitational. Mike Parks won the 110 hurdles and Luke Mancini won the pole vault with a jump of 11 feet and is now tied for first in the section. Omari Withers got second in the long jump, Rocky L got third in the 100 meter dash, Caleb Berg got third in the 800, and Kevin Hasty got third in shot put. The boys lacrosse team continues their winning streak with a 14-4 win over RFA. Jackson Palum had four, five goals, Trey Jones had four goals and three assists. Logan Welch and Evan DeBurgess both had two goals each, and Eric Markert had one goal. The girls' track team finished third overall at the Chittenango Invitational on Saturday. Ariana Brennan won the pentathlon with a score of 2,364 points. Aquat Kawani won the 100 hurdles. The 100 relay team of Kaylee Maloof, Sophia Jackson, Riley King, and Ivani McDuffie got second, and Ariana Finkelstein got second in the shot put. The softball team shut out Whitesboro 7-0 to improve to an 8-2 record. Liv Goff had one run, two RBIs, and had 11 strikeouts while pitching. ESM hosted a pentathlon meet yesterday against Baldensville and Cortland. Rocky L placed second with a score of 3,034, which is a new school record, and Mike Parks placed third place with a score of 2,900. In upcoming sports, the boys' baseball team plays at home against Fulton at 4.45. Boys' lacrosse plays at home against Syracuse City at 6, and girls' lacrosse plays at Syracuse City at 7. And I'm Ellie with your sports. Unfortunately, within the United States, Eid doesn't get as much attention as it should. In Islamic countries, people usually get all three days of celebration off from work, but in the United States, some are unable to request time off while others can. I most definitely wasn't able to go through everything this holy holiday encompasses, so if you'd like a deeper dive into Eid al Fitr or Ramadan, I'd encourage you to do more research or check out the Spartan News article on Ramadan featuring interviews from our very own student body. 
So from everyone here at The Morning Show, have a terrific Tuesday. Mancini, did you have girls golf on there? USA State Qualifiers brings together high school students from all over New York. Some examples of the many competitions here are cosmetology, welding, dentistry, and cake decorating. Skills USA pushes students to perform at a professional skill level which will help them in the future. Students will start the regionals, move to states, and then to nationals. To move up, one must win their competition. The more they move up in the competitions, the more difficult the test will be. Skills USA plans on preparing students for their future in the chosen workforce, and we want you to be a part of it.